he said quite fiercely, we must end the civil war in Libya. Mm -hmm. How? Especially in any sense of maintaining the autonomy of the people there and mm -hmm. allowing things to play out in time. Yeah, I was very forceful about Libya because I think Libya is one of the most egregious examples of external intervention. And it's external intervention by actors whose heads actually, I think, could be knocked together uh, by external, bigger, bigger powers. Um, a great deal of the conflict in Libya, and I don't mean what Daesh is involved in. Those guys are independent, dangerous actors, Daesh, the Islamic State. They're different. But much of the civil strife in Libya between Libyan factions is fueled by two Gulf oil regimes, two Gulf autocracies, which are completely dependent on the United States for their existence in terms of protection from the outside. I mean, they have air forces and they have armies and they have internal security forces. They couldn't stand up to Iran for seven seconds. Uh, none of the Gulf oil regimes actually can defend themselves. The Emirati army in Yemen includes two battalions of Colombian mercenaries. I mean, these are not countries that can defend themselves. They are dependent on us. I mean, Saudi Arabia, Turkey, Pakistan, Israel, those are big, powerful countries. The United States cannot tell them what to do. The United Arab Emirates and Qatar, I mean, with all due respect, they are fueling in large measure that civil war. And perhaps a word can be said to, to they're not fools, the people who run these countries. They're smart men. They're all men. Um, That's the problem. And well, <laughs> maybe. So I, I don't think Libya is easy because of, of, of Libya's internal uh, dynamics. And I don't think Libya is easy because it's not just those two. There are many other external actors. Uh, and there's Daesh, which is a, a wild card. Uh, and they're, and they're gro growing in power and importance in Libya. But I actually do think that's, of the four, uh, that's the least difficult for, for a, a, the United States and its, its friends uh, to deal with. And it's not a case where you have to deal with the, either the Iranians or the Russians. So what is so hard about this? 